Hey guys, welcome to, to Unbiased Rugby. So, obviously there's been quite a lot of news, uh, in, obviously in the news this, recently about uh, with Kieran Reid coming up about how the conference system is quite quite unfair, uh, that the, the New Zealand uh, derbies are too strong and quite quite bad for New Zealand rugby uh, with the injuries and things like that. It, is, it, it does become kind of difficult because uh, I, I see a lot of comments saying, well, you know, the top, it should be a complete round robin, but that would, I think, calculate out to about, with with the 15 teams, it would be 28 games, make the season uh, too long. So that uh, that just doesn't work. Uh, obviously, we could drop the teams, but that would uh, reduce the revenue and have fewer players. So that that's, that's not going to work either. Uh, you could have two leagues, so like a top league and a, and a second league, and just have a, a relegation and promotion each season. But how do the, the the second you know the second division teams actually get their funding to to be do all the travelling? So it becomes kind of there's there's a lot of things. The, the problem with with Super Rugby is the geographical locations because like literally you know playing from South America to New Zealand that's probably that's a that's a huge twenty four hour flight or or twenty four hours time difference not time difference but so it gets kind of difficult to be able to. To manage that kind of scenario, uh, so I, I, I've been I've been thinking about it, uh, and I know that they want to increase the amount of teams that actually are in Super Rugby uh, to twenty at some point, uh, and obviously have a fourth conference with uh, Pacific Islands and, and maybe a few American sides, which I think is which I think is a good idea. Uh, but you know, we're going to go back into that same realm where we had where you don't play all the teams, uh, which it just doesn't make sense. So. I've been thinking about it, and the the reason the reason why I like I like some form of conference system is, you know, if you get to the semi finals and there's just New Zealand sides, yes, I'd still watch the rugby, but I wouldn't have the same tribalism, uh, and that only really benefits New Zealand, uh, New Zealand rugby. It doesn't really benefit anybody else, and I'm not talking about from a from an entertainment or I'm talking about from a financial point of view. Uh, there's a reason why the, the conference system works the way that it works because, you know, at, at the quarterfinals or in the semis, there could be one country's team inside inside that thing, and it gives me a vested interest to actually support those support those uh, to watch the competition at that point. If there were just New Zealand sides, I, I, I'm sure that the, the the drop off would be astronomical. And let's be honest, you know, the New Zealand conference is the strongest, and if it was a round robin kind of thing, uh, highest points. And I'm and I'm not saying it's unf it's not f you could say it's it's pretty unfair that the top four teams aren't represented like that. But it's it also comes down to you know at the end of the day rugby is entertainment. It's not it's a sport, but at the end of the day it's, it's entertainment, and you're there to entertain the the, the people. And it, I'd like love to see an, uh, a South African side in the in the semi finals. But so I've, I've been thinking about it, and. Uh, I think there might be a solution for it. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. I haven't really thought it through 100%. But uh, I, I would say we keep the conference system. And then what happens is it played almost like a European championship. Uh, where So we'd have we'd have the four conferences or three conferences at the moment. Now those those conferences, uh, each, each, per, each team plays home and away. So I think that would be each team would play eight games. Four, four. Yeah, that makes sense. They'd play eight games. Uh, then of those eight games, there would be the top two teams from that conference, uh, so Africa, Australia, and New Zealand, would go into a it would go into the next round with the two uh, highest losers. So in all honesty, it'd probably be two South Africa, two Australian, and four New Zealand. But uh, that's that's okay. And then those eight teams that make it into the that that next next round, everything becomes equal again, and they play a round robin, home and away. The top four teams of that go into the semis and then into the finals. Uh, that that might be a way of 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 doing it. Uh, look, it's I'd still get my derbies at the beginning of the, the the season. I'd still get my my top eight teams in the thing. It'll be a full round robin, and or we could have a full round robin on that one. And the top team on points wins the wins the championship. 
uh, as opposed to having a semi-final and a final. M maybe, that, maybe that would be a way to do it, or just have a final. So the top two teams for those round robin of eight would have a final, and that's it. Uh, so, so essentially it'd be, and it would also work if we had four conferences. So we'd have uh, the uh, Africa, which would include Argentina. We'd have Australia, which would include Japan. We'd have New Zealand, which is just New Zealand. And then we'd have the Americas, which would include the Pacific Islands and the Americas. And then the top two teams of each of those would go into the round robin round, uh, round and, uh, and, then, and then qualify for, and then play completely round robin. Then that gives it a way that every single team plays everybody else. Uh, I, I don't know, uh, what do you guys think of having something like that? Or it could be like the European Championship where we, we have the conferences and each, each country has their own conferences and uh, the top two teams from that conference qualify for the following year. Uh, so it, it, it has a vested interest to always have very, very strong local rugby, uh, very strong local rugby support. And then we go into the conferences. So yeah, there's a, there's a few options. For me, I like that, that way of, of working. So Super Rugby would have the three conferences, the top two teams of each of those conferences would go into the next round with the two winning losers going into the next round. Those eight teams would play full round robin, which is 14 games. And uh, so that, uh, that it works out to almost exactly the same. I think it works out to 22 games for the season and then the semi-final and final. But yeah, guys, what do you think of, of that, uh, that kind of conference system? Uh, because playing full round robin, it, it's just not going to work, uh, especially with the amount of teams that have to drop the amount of teams to play full round robin. So I'm just trying to think of solutions that would work. But please, guys, put your comments down below. And uh, yeah, let's have a discussion about it. Thanks, guys. Chat soon. Bye.